you know. All right, but, so I got to ask you, mm-hmm. men, just men in general, um, typically men will have a higher sex drive and they'll be more promiscuous than women. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, you're born a man. And although you have transitioned. Correction. I wasn't born a man. I was born. I like to say <laughs> I was born a girl with a penis because no one's born a man. No one's born a woman. We actually all started off as girls. Did you know okay. that? Uh, are you talking about with the XY chromosomes? Well, in general, as a fetus, we were when we were fetuses. And that our is true. Started, yep, that is true. We all started off as females. That is true. I never, and, and I never actually ever, ever let myself become the man that most people thought that I was going to be. So I wasn't born a man. <laughs> we going to say that. Okay, so thanks for the that. correction. So it's, you could say, maybe it's another way you could say it. You were born, um, I guess you, you could you, say male. I don't know. How, how about this? Male. You were born with a penis. Can, can, born can we with go? a penis, yes. Yeah. You Did, do that. you feel as though... Having a penis, you have uh, uh, an extremely high sex drive and and are a bit more promiscuous than uh, someone who might have been born with a vagina. Bro, cis women, cisgender. That's what you call it, cisgender. Yeah, um, cisgender. Yeah. cisgender. Okay, so so you're educating me across the board, cisgender. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I feel that way. I um, but when I'm strong. When I'm strong on my hormones, I don't really have that. But when I kind of take a little break, yeah, I get I'm on my I'm on my I'm on my like how you said my man shit, you know. <laughs> I'm on I'm on I'm on demon time. I'm ready to get fucked <laughs> dick every day. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I would say yep. You know, I look like that 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 female out appearance, but I got that feeling of a man. I'm ready to get fucked, ready to suck some dick, all that. Yes, mm-hmm. I get those wow. moments. I definitely get those moments. So, luckily, I can't say this about myself. I'm a very promiscuous girl. I will admit that. I love sex. I'm an info. I like. I love to watch porn every day. But I will say this about myself. I am very, very, very safe. I am the number one girl that will bring the condom out in the quickness because there are so many cases in my community of people having HIV. And I said to myself, I would never let myself become that statistic. Statistic. Well, I can never pronounce that word. Yeah, I said to myself, I will never let myself do that. And I can honestly say, and I hate to brag about things like this because it's not anything wrong with anyone who is HIV positive. But I like to brag and say that I am so happy that I am negative still to this day because I have so many friends that are HIV positive. And it's because they had the little moments being horny, they just didn't grab a condom. You got to make decisions to each person. If that person ain't making the right decision, you need to make the decision to say, hold on, we need to get a condom. But I can say this. I have, I'm not perfect, but I have maybe had raw sex maybe two, three times in my whole life. So, and that was when I was dating someone in a relationship. Two of those people were, well, three of them was somebody I was dating and I have their name tattooed on me. I have two dudes' names tattooed on me. So I knew when I wanted to do it, which I thought it's safe that we can do this because we're together. But other than that, if I'm on my promiscuous shit, my whole shit, nah, baby, I'm not sucking your dick raw. I got this condom. It's a bare skin. Let me pull it out. You still gonna get the good skin. I ain't never got my dick sucked with a condom. Well, you're gonna get your dick sucked condom with a dick. Today you are, and I can guarantee you, these same guys that I done did that with are so shocked that I made them nut with the condom on. 
because they like, yo, damn, I didn't even think I could nut with the condom on. Well, now you know. So maybe you can go out and be a little more safer. We can still be freaks and all of that, but I'm going to be a freak with protection on my side. And I've had guys turn me down because I wanted to use a condom. Now that, that right there, that really sends me. Cause I didn't have that happen. What I do it was like, I ain't trying to get my dick stuck raw. I mean, he's like, I ain't trying to get my dick stuck with a condom. And I'm like, well, I guess we ain't linking up then. Cause I don't know what the hell you got. That's right. You know? That's right. So I, people like, you can't get nothing from the mouth. Well, yeah, it's probably a hard, percentage to doing it from oral and getting something but there's still ways you can catch something from orally trust what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you know anybody that can benefit from this message feel free to share peace and love make every move a power move and i catch you all on the next video